Regimental Gray Limited is Ghana's leading estate developer with a great deal of expertise in turnkey project site development and a hallmark for timely construction and delivery of high quality, reasonably priced housing units at prime locations. It is a notable example of successful private sector joint ventures in Ghana. To date, the company has built over 4,000 homes in Ghana. A member of Ghana's Club 100, the company's extraordinary story started in 1983 when Mr. and Mrs. Butri, the founders, were returning home after a surgeon overseas. I was in Nigeria, building, doing construction businesses there. I made a little money, and obviously, like everybody, you travel, you go outside, do the work you need to do, only to come home and buy your own house and come and settle. And in 83, when I tried to buy a house, I found out that one house has been sold to five people, and I have to chase my money. Although I even did not get all, then I said to myself, if you're outside the building for people smoothly, what stops me from coming to help my fellow colleagues who are outside struggling to get money to come and build only for somebody to chop the money? So we came to Ghana and established the Regimental Limited at that time to start building for our Ghanaians outside the country. With no capital and no bank willing to finance such a seemingly risky venture, the odds looked insurmountable. You know, in Ghana, if you don't, your name is not in a certain book, nobody knows you. My wife thought I was going to rent office outside from the accommodation, but I want to leave and sleep with the construction business. You know, so I had a contract with the Eliqui to build their factory for them in Tema. And there were some containers they said I should pack and go and throw away because they were all virtually rotten, only the skeleton standing. So he brought the container home. I remember one day I was upstairs and I saw some flatbed bringing some rotten container. I was really mad with him. My wife said, Emmanuel, I hope you are not bringing this to this house. I said, I'm bringing it to this house. And I'm going to connect the whole world through this skeleton you see. For about three, four days, this, my wife was fuming. And I said to her, the day you will come with your headgear dressed nicely into this container, I'll tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Times were tough and challenges are plenty. Qualified artisans were hard to find. Land was always an issue and Ghanaians in the diaspora, well, they were not exactly breaking the doors down. Undeterred, the butchers started constructing a few houses for acquaintances. We had faith in God. And so we started with one, we got the land. And if he, uh, he's on site, I'll be in the office. If I'm on site, he'll be in the office. Their hard work, integrity, and determination piqued the interest of a group of Americans from Gray Construction in Texas, USA, who had come to Ghana looking for local partners. The Gray partners walk in, they look at what we have done by, by a man called Pasla. They say, OK, we want to partner with you. Regimanuel Limited, the Grey Partners, and later Arios Capital Partners West Africa, a regional venture capital firm, formed Regimanuel Grey Limited, an international joint venture. With a team of top caliber local and expatriate personnel managing its affairs, the company set about building houses in Community 14. We built two and three bedroom semi detached, simple, nicely well laid out houses. HFC Bank, which had started providing mortgages to clients at that time, agreed to pay for the houses upon completion. We will go ahead, design, accept it, build the houses, get people to come, and that's how we were the first people that supply HFC with the first four homes. And the rest, as they say, is history. Regimental Gray Limited has chalked success after success to become the leading real estate developer in Ghana building quality homes within well-developed communities supplied with proper infrastructure, roads, drains, streetlights, water, electricity, and amenities to create a high quality of life for homeowners and their families. Communities 14, 15, 18, 19, part of 20, 
Kwabinya, and more were all built this way. Realizing the need for timely delivery of high quality raw material to complete projects in time and maintain the company's rigorous standards, Regimal Grey Limited established several subsidiary companies, including Best Block and Regimal Grey Concrete Products, and Desoyo, a swimming pool company. To ensure the maintenance of its high standards after completion of projects, the company established the Regimal Grey Estate Management Company, which looks after the estates. Today, Regimal Grey has won numerous awards, operates from its headquarters in Labadi, Accra, and is working on new housing projects. Currently, we are working at four sites. The East Airport project, located just 20 minutes from the Kotoka Airport in Accra, is the jewel of the Regimal Grey Group, a planned community of 600 plus executive single and two story houses and 240 luxury apartments. It is set in a serenely landscaped environment, including a beautiful community center, pool, and tennis courts. Uh, directors, with their knowledge, thought, let's create a special environment for people who have value, taste, and they are ready to pay for it. So when you go to East Airport, you marvel when you see the developments that we have done there. If you ask any home buyer, you know, for Regiment of Grey Houses, will tell you that ever since they uh, bought their houses from Regimental, it has always been adding value. I feel very happy and comfortable living here. I can live here and travel, and I know that I have security here. For me, that's priority. If I'm safe in an environment, and my, my children especially are okay, they can step out, play with their neighbors, and not feel threatened, then I'm also happy. I know that the value of my house will appreciate. I know that it's a good investment. It's a safe place to raise my family, and it's a clean environment that I like coming home to. It gives me the peace. At the end of the day, when I come home from work, I know I can relax in peace. I'm very satisfied. I'm very satisfied. And there is more. In order to accelerate the company's annual production rate and help solve Ghana's housing deficit, the company is utilizing new concrete formwork smart building technology, designed and supplied by Wall Ties and Forms from the USA in its Community 13 project in Sakumono, Accra. This user-friendly rapid formwork construction technology produces concrete structures at least three times faster and five times as strong as traditional brick and mortar. It's a fast moving system. It's aluminum panels that you fix them, you pour in the concrete, by the time you remove, the house is there. Once you assemble those panels, you know, together with your reinforcements, your plumbing, electricals. At the end of the day, you can cast the whole floor within the shortest possible time. You close it, you pour your concrete, you remove the formwork, it's already there. The turnaround time now for a whole floor comprising four apartments is one week. The same technology is being used in Klagon near Asherman, Accra, where Regiment Grey is producing about 1,700 apartments in partnership with the Social Security and National Insurance Trust. We've done about 20 blocks going, and that's the phase one, 21, phase two. By the time we finish, we'll be having 81 blocks standing there with a modern living, with a shopping mall, with a clubhouse, and all the facilities for the people. And Regimal Gray's biggest housing project to date is at Katamanzo, two kilometers from Ashi on the Accra Dodua Road. We are getting a whole satellite city done at Cantamanso. It's a 1,500 acre land. We have clusters 1 to 10, cluster A to J. And by the time we finish, a minimum of 17,000 houses will be built there. We started the first 500. We've done about 300 more already. By the time we finish that project of 17,000 homes, what you'll have there is a satellite town because we will make sure that we have all the amenities and facilities that a community needs. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Regimal Grey is also exporting its brand beyond the borders of Ghana. The company expanded its operation to Sierra Leone 
and is replicate its business model there with its partner, the National Social Security Insurance Trust, NASIT. The company has invested in a quarry and block making factory, Sierra Block Concrete Product Limited, to supply its raw material. We are doing two projects at the same time. There is one at um, Godrich, just uh, in front of the Atlantic Ocean, that uh, we are planning to do about uh, 250 houses. That project uh, comprises uh, luxury uh, houses, two-story houses. And NASIT has in turn furnished them and they rent them to expatriate uh, companies and individuals who are here to do business. We have started to do low to medium income level houses at a place called Grafton along the Freetown Peninsula. We've also gone outside Freetown to build a shopping mall in one of the northern provinces called uh, Makini. With Regimano Grain Limited's footprint already in Nigeria, Liberia and Tanzania, the company is taking its expertise and best practices across all of Africa to spearhead socio-economic development and be a force for change and growth across the continent. Regimano Grey is a multinational and multicultural organization. We see ourselves within a regional and international context and it, it starts from our uh, shareholding it starts, it goes on with our uh, expertise, our staffing, and it goes also to our frontier in terms of where we have reached and where we want to go. If you ask me, we are just about 15 to 20 percent where we want to be. And that is what is keeping us moving. Daily progression, daily thinking about the business, daily it's growing. And I'm very proud to be part of the growth of Regimanuel Gray. Regimanuel Gray has proven that it is doable and we've done it and we'll continue to do it. Africa can do it.